Fighting Down. Welcome back to the next episode of Blast Off. Hope you are well. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, done a little bit of work off camera, I won't lie, because there is a lot of grunt work in this. Uh, as you can see, I've uh, extended the, the, the man cave a little. Just uh, this is a little bit of uh, yeah, let's not look down there, that's work in progress. We've got the storage. Uh, on this side, uh, again, still a work in progress. Still don't really know what I'm going to quite do yet, which is very unlike me. It's usually I have a plan, but the plan's been to try stay alive more than anything. So, what I've done is I've found these new little oak drawers that store quite a lot in them. As you can see, there's 2,000 in each of these drawers. You know, they also come in standard four. I think they hold less, but you can upgrade these as well, so they can hold more. They are very nice, very nice. And if you watch my Infinity, they have little blocks on front, which is what I tend to do on my deep storage, which is really, really nice. Oh, next to them we have a compacting drawer. And in compacting drawer, you can drop ingots in, and it will give you nuggets or convert them into blocks automatically, so I can just click on here and I get a block of gold. Pop that back in or I can get uh, an ingot. Pop that in, it will convert it into nuggets for me. As you can see there in the top of the screen, it will combine them all. So it'll always make blocks and it will always give you ingots and nuggets as well. So I've got one for iron and one for gold at the moment. So I've been out, out in the wilderness out there and it's not very nice. And I've been collecting ores. Now I've been collecting these with a stone hammer to begin with until I got enough diamonds. And because if you if you hit those meteorites out there with a stone hammer, I think I had a stone hammer somewhere. Uh, oh, there it is, hung up there. With a stone hammer. It will give you drops, they're not that brilliant. It kind of gives you like one in five. So you get these little little bits of ore. You can also go over to the big spires that are out there, uh, but you do need an axe to do that. And if you haven't got one that's up to scratch at the moment, uh, then you're going to have a problem. So the only place you can find ores is by smashing up bits of meteorite, and you get these. If you put two of these together in your crafting window, you will get blocks, which are very handy if you want to smelt them. Now, as you can see, We've no means to smelt them apart from the furnace in the corner there. But little known fact, if you've got a crucible in which you can melt things in, you can also put a faucet on the front of there and it will act just like a, a, a tinker's furnace. Which is rather handy if you want to get a quick leg up without actually getting the furnace. So here I've got a nice little setup. I've got block of lava underneath, heating the crucible and in turn up here I plop in the blocks that I've just shown you over there into the top of there, they melt down here and I can just pour them out as you can see that had uh, molten iron in there which is what I made the pickaxe head from so you can just pour them straight into a casting table now on this side it is a little bit crowded here this is again work in progress I have a crucible down there, which is melting gravel into lava. Yes, you don't have to use just cobblestone, you can use gravel as well, which is lots of right down at the bottom of this world. Uh, as I showed you, I think I showed you that previously, down this, down this little ladder I have down here. Right at the bottom of there, there's an obsidian uh, area covering a big pool of lava, and above that is about six or seven layers of gravel down there so you can just go down there with a shovel and happily mash gravel all day pop it back up here drop it in there you get lava and from that i've just been putting it into the vat so i can make uh, oodles of water i have a water crafting area here so to get slightly clean water i think i should do this before in the last episode you get snow clumps by hammering big lumps of snow on here with your hammer and that will give you these, put those together with glass bottles, that will give you a bottle of snow 
and then just pop the bottle of snow in there like that and eventually that'll turn into this fella over here turn into that so you can just put them with leaves and some empty glass bottles that gives you three fresh water so I've got quite I'm quite good quite solid for water at the moment so what I found out while I was smashing oars I got a little bit off topic over there but uh, I'll get back to that because there's still that thing there I need to explain uh, the normal hammer, the stone hammer, takes forever, and I mean forever, to actually get anything out of them. So if you make a diamond one, I didn't realise, but you can actually enchant it. So it may be best, uh, let's look in the work in progress in here, it is a work in progress. Uh, got an enchantment table. Now it would probably be better to do books until you get the right book to put on there. But I just didn't have the books at all, because I'd used them all for, I'd used all the paper and the books that I had to make this, to get this up to a level 30 enchanter. So, I just roughly put it on and luckily I came out with Silk Touch and Efficiency 5. Now, Silk Touch doesn't work with this, but Efficiency 5 does. So, although Silk Touch may work, I've never actually tried Silk Touching anything with it yet. But I know if you hit me to your right, you will still get these fellas. You'll still get all the smash bits. Sometimes you get diamond, emerald, uh, and other stuff like that. These certs quartz I got from some of the spires outside using my pick. And so what else have I got to tell you? Uh, let's go have a look around. Down the end of here... I just set up a little bit of a, a random spawner, it just gives me extra spawns in the dark. I've got a little bit of ethereal glass there. So as you can see there, if I put my F7 on, you can see that spawning area. So I just get spawns during the day in there, if I'm out and about. Uh, but as it's night at the moment, I believe, yes it is, it's night. So let's go and have a look up at my little kill chamber up here. Now I've widened this out a considerable amount, as you can see also have some essence berry bushes there now it's got a quite a big area now because I've extended it up upstairs oh that's a that's a nasty the alchemist ender sprint gravity berserk what does he do then nothing what what is that is it, is it an invisible entity? I don't know. It, uh, it's uh, some invisible thing. Uh, because I can't see what it is. It's written at the top, so I can't see anything. Uh, so I'll just have a chop away at this. This may take some time. What's that? 640? Oh, it's a zombie commander. Yeah, he can stay there. Now, you may think, oh, he's got ender lily seeds and endstone. Where's he got that from? Well, I was out wandering around. If you look at the map, you can see loads of numbers and letters and all sorts circling around. I found a strange city, uh, or like a village over this way, uh, full of obsidian and endstone houses, uh, and full of explosions and death and general pain. Uh, oh, I see. You're hitting me, goes invisible. Uh, nice trick. So I managed to get some endstone from there, and on the map there's an F somewhere. I think it's where that one and two is. That's actually a little fortress. But it's miles away. And I went through there, and I managed to find some ender lily seeds in a chest. It was rather handy. So, combine two, and end lilies grow really fast on endstone. So pop them down there, and I'm getting a nice, uh, nice little collection of. I brain went blank then. Ender pearls. That's the fella. That's the bunny. Uh, I also found this, the ender sword as well. Uh, so yeah, I've been over at that fortress. Uh, now you didn't really want to watch me go through a fortress. Uh, because it's just hours and hours of mindless tedium. So I've been down there, had a bit of a clear out down there. 
on some of the levels and managed to get some, some good, not some brilliant stuff, but some good stuff. That's pretty much where I got all the books from. I guess I don't have any reads or anything like that, so I can't make paper at the moment. I've got some quests that I need to hand in as well, um, but I shall show you that eventually, and I shall take you to the city as well, or the little village thing. So, what's this? Well, this is just a stone barrel with a water source on top, and what I can do with this is I can quickly make, if I get this click right, crucible, there we've got a lava bucket, pop it in there, you get instant obsidian. So right click that, out it pops, lovely. Saves you having to mine it, because it is quite difficult to mine if you don't have the pick for it. And what else do we have here? Gone through that, gone through that. This is just my little tinker's station. This is the Dirtmatic 5000 right here. This is actually compositing dirt, uh, compositing rotten flesh into dirt. If you pop rotten flesh in these, uh, eventually it compost, compo, com, composes, com, composters. It breaks down uh, and it creates dirt. So that's my little dirt farm there. So I get quite a lot of rotting flesh. Just have a look over here, see how much I've got. 221 over there and so I just literally pop it all in that and it makes dirt for me which is nice and easy it's lovely jubbly so let's pop upstairs see what we've done up there and then we'll get on with some questies now look at this look at this posh tiling posh tiling and a bit of grass posh tiling and yeah so what I did with this is these are Tyrian blocks that I used chisel on and then used a saw just to make covers because nothing can spawn on, on covers so it saves you putting torches everywhere. Just pop these down and then nothing can spawn. So I set a little tree farm. The reason they were burning down last time out here is because I had a torch on the side of the house and torches burn everything down so that's never nice so I can just come out here and if I had my axe which I do, there we are come out here and chop these down now got a nice little tree farm not exactly automatic yet but I believe there is some form of automation in this game I just haven't quite reached it yet let's just get these done brush just go for some old spruce this time. And I've put these little glowstone nooks at the bottom of it just to give it light so it grows through the night. And yeah, I've moved the meteor shields from all up there because they actually cover 75 blocks, so having them all up there was a bit silly really. So now they cover a bigger area. Also, a little tip for you. When they do, when you, when you hear that noise, that means a meteor is either passing or is orbiting or is landing. It will actually collect things from them. So every now and again, just wander around and have a look at these, and you'll probably find some strange things in. I found uh, some spawn kitty comet or something like that. That's not got me in. Oh, hang on. That's telling me that a comet has orbited, entered orbit, and it's just a normal meteorite. So those actually do actually, how many times can I say actually in one sentence? Actually I can say it quite a lot actually. So that's got nothing. And there's one on top, but there's two on top as well. Let's just go pop it there and see what those are doing. See if those have got any goodies for me. If I could stand on these that'd be great. Oh, let's try this one. Oh, shootsy scores. Oh, again. Oh. I am landing on it. What the deuce? What's going on here? Have I taken all the elevators out? Oh no, there is no elevators. No, that's right. Oh, uh, first barn. It's these fellas. Bonk. Yeah. So yeah, you get these spawn comic kitties. So, shall we try one of these? Let's uh, go over here and see what I've got in this one as well. Nothing on that one. Is that telling me the same thing? Yeah, meteorite. 
time of the same. So let's pop down. Let me just empty my pockets and then we shall go straight out and find out what this spawn kitty thing is all about. Pop these in there if we've got any of those, any of those, any of those. Any. And then that should be it. So let's put the meteorite stuff in here. Drops in there. Emptying pockets has never been such fun. Welcome to the pocket emptying simulator with Zern Zen. Joy. And see a brick in there, I think. Put it in there before? Did it put it in there? Can't remember where I put it, but I've got more than that. I know that for a fact. Pop it in here. Nope. Lord knows where it is. It'll be in my storage somewhere. God, honestly, as soon as I put things away, I have no idea where they've gone. Typical. It's always the last place you look. But technically, it always is the last place you look, because you're never going to go looking once you've found something. Which is very strange. So yeah, I don't know where those have gone. That's uh, quite distressing, because I was making quite a lot of those. Excuse the noise. Ah, there you go. See a brick. It was in books. Of course it would be. Uh, anyway, so let's pop out into, what time is it? Dinner time. Let's pop outside and see what Spawn Kitty does. Nothing around that's going to eat me alive, is there? None of these do. This may kill me. I oh, no. It gives me a little kitty cat. Uh, who's not my friend, by the looks of it. Nope, not my friend. Nope, running away, running away. That'll be the one that he was just talking about. So, come here, little kitty. Come here, kitty. Now I'm going to have to kill you, aren't I? Uh, right, so we know that's what that does. So that's safe to spawn in base. Yeah, little kitty catty. I shall call him George. Pop back in here. Stick that in there. Now, what else have we got here? Let's have a look at some questies. Oh, actually, let's just nip downstairs first. Got any apples? Yay, apples. Also got a few uh, carrots and potatoes down here. I know this isn't the way to grow the grapes. You need the ropes up so you can the vines can grow up, but I haven't got around to that yet. It's not really an urgency for grape. I don't really want to make wine yet. Or I know you can do brew, you can brew up ale on this. We can actually get quite squiffy. Down there, you can see I've got a nice array of food now as well. I've been making chips and apple sandwiches and meat fries, and all these are is you get potatoes like this, pop over here. Not exactly the, the most conducive surface to uh, prepare food, but you just pop a potato on there, you hit it with the hammer a few times, and you get a sliced potato, you hit it again. And you get uncooked fries. Put them fries in there and they will uh, cook up. And then you'll get normal fries. So has the water. Oh yeah, there we go. Slightly clear water. Let's just pop that in there so we've always got... Ooh, there like that. And one there, one there. And one there. So we've got quite a few of those. If we ever need it, I've also got a bundle in here as well. Where are they? There you go. Fresh water. So, right. Oh, that's handy. Okay, be right back. Okay, there's a lesson for me. It did work a minute ago, but don't click on any default sorting or click your middle mouse button while you're in here sometimes. It crashes the game. Which is always handy. Seems to work in others like that. Uh, like that seems to work. For some reason on that chest, it's been a bit screwy. So what we're we gonna do? Let's pop these back down here. I don't know why they're up there. Then put the hammer back over here. Everything back in its rightful place. 
bit and fine. Okie dokie. So let's have a look at the quest book, see where we are. And oh look at that, we've got another eye fit. Oh. Actually that reminds me. Uh eye fit's doing really well at the moment. Uh this helps you a lot, actually. It's quite useful. What it does is it gives you those things on the uh, right hand side, the speed, haste, jump, boost and resistance. The more you do it, the more hits you take, the more uh, things you kill, the more jumps you do, the more distance you walk, gives you these extras, which is quite good. As you can see, I've got a haste 2, jump, boost 3, so quite a high jump boost. Uh, haste 2, which is very handy. Obviously, I think the more you do, the faster you're going to go. Sorry, the haste is for, for mining. Speed is only at level one at the moment, it's nice, it's fast enough. Fast enough for me anyway, being an old codger. So what else have we got? Did the extra lives, completed these, so we get uh, a charge pad, we get Robit, a treadmill and a shell constructor. Oh, pink derps and white derps. Now, I think pink derps is pigs and white derps is sheep. Now, Obviously sheep might be better because if we get wool, we can get string. Whereas pigs will just give us pork. I think I'll go with sheep. I think it's sheep anyway. Have that billy bunk. And what else do we have? Should I just claim this? Oh no, I didn't. There we go. I've also been killing a few endermen since I've been out in the, uh, over in the fortress area. Uh, all you need to do is kill a total of one, uh, which is quite easy. And we get lily seeds and ender chest, thank the Lord. Hopefully we can make another one of them. And some end stone. So I am gonna go ender chest every time. I'll take that. And oh, what's that there? Oh yeah, killed witches as well. I get which water. Now that's quite good if you set up a mob farm. It looks like everything's pushing you towards making a mob farm. Because what this will do is it'll turn general mobs into, if they fall into it, it'll turn zombies into pig zombies. It will turn skeletons into withers. It will turn, the unfortunate thing is it will turn creepers into charged creepers. Uh, I think it turns villagers into zombies as well, I'm not quite sure. So that's quite a good thing to have. I think I had this in my crash landing when I played that. Now I'm not sure about these, but let's, they seem to be both the same. Don't seem to be any different, so let's go for that one. Why not? Biddly bong. How's my inventory doing? Let's just pop some of this stuff. Uh, let's just get the chest and let's pop them all up there for now. Stick that over there. That, 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 and the white derps, charge pad, roll it, and treadmill. Oh, and the sink. Don't think the sink's much, although I think you can travel with these. If you have one shell constructor and then another one, you can link them together. I'm not quite sure on that, but I seem to recall that's how it works. But anyway, I shall look into that. So what else do we have? Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Uh, ingots, uh, gold ingots, I get iron ore, seared brick. Well, I've got loads of iron ore anyway, so, and it's quite plentiful out there. So we'll go for the seared brick, so I can make a tinker smelter, eh? And... Crucible tank to make grout. And get more seared bricks. Joy. Get that. What else do we need? Oh, we're gonna go into, uh... Ooh, what's it called? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Batania, that's the one. This defences, oh, I've had these before, but it'd be really handy though because you can get lapis and gold just for a minor amount of flesh and gunpowder really and if you get a mob farm that should be quite easy to do. 
So two upgrades. We can get a ball of moss. Oop. Now draws. Now I've got this already. I've tried this. Where did I pop it? Here it is. Now that is what it requires. A manual detect. Nothing. Storage grid upgrade two. I have got. Let's go, just have a look. I've only got two of them, so I wonder if you need to have four exactly. So let me get some drawers, wood, and two chests. Ah, got enough of that. Oh, I've already got one there as well. So if I make. Let's just go back here. What do I need to do with that? I need to do. A template, that's the one. Two of those, and then storage upgrade. Yeah, upgrade two. I need some iron. Is that the same one though? Am I making a bit of a boo boo here? Recipe showing the recipe on that. Okay, it looks the same. Storage upgrade 2. Let me get, what was it? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. 2, 3, 4. That. And then use. Two of those, two of those, four of those. Has it? Oh yes it has. So it doesn't count single ones. It is interesting. And for that I get a compacting drawer. Which is one of these that you've already seen. Uh, over to my left. So let's get that. And what else do we have? Polluted seas. Liquid metal. Oh, this is because I took the two crucible furnace from one that, that chamber of spawners over there. Titanium or, titanium or magnesium. Let's go for titanium. It sounds sounds better. Now, lava buckets. Oh, this is where I need twenty buckets, and it consumes them all. That's ridiculous. So that's nearly a stack of iron, just in buckets alone for that. But you do get redstone generator or a lava generator, and an upgrade. Be rather good. Fishing. Oh, well we can do that. Let's get a block of redstone. In here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's counting with Zern Zen. Would be nine, wouldn't it? Yes, of course it would be. The boy's a fool. Pop that in there. Good have it, there we go. A sifter, a wooden fishing rod, maggot, grasshopper, bait worm. Don't know what the difference is here. Let's go for bait worm. Why the heck not? Because I don't know if you've noticed. Cod. And I get some fish traps and things. So I don't know if you noticed uh, up here. I made this ready for fishing because we're in a frozen ocean biome if I don't cover this this water it will turn into ice now the only other way around it is you can put torches around it but if you do it's not conducive with trees uh, or anything else for that matter it tends to burn it so we could set up the fishing in here see how we go on uh, yeah well I think actually I think we're nearly done on this episode. Uh, sorry but it's very talky and not very actiony. But as you can see we've made a lot of progress if I can walk the right way. As the moon sets on this miserable place and there's some horrors out there having a party. Zombie party. Uh, yeah, and uh, so, so don't forget to like and subscribe, it will help me out tremendously. And I'll uh, love you and leave you. I shall see you on the flip side. Much love.